What's up guys, it's Hansel here and in this week's video I want to teach you guys how to play Fire Mage in arenas. The highest I was able to achieve was about 2470 so far this expansion. So I really think this video will help you out if you're interested in fire play. Since I started queuing more, I discovered a lot more strategies and tactics on how to survive longer and also to set up more clean with your partners in order to score kills. If you haven't seen my basic fire mage video where I teach you the build and basic burst rotations of a fire mage then I highly urge you to check it out. You can click here or if you don't have annotations enabled the link will be in the description down below. So real quick I want to go over the biggest changes I've made to my build which in turn gave me a lot more success in the arenas. I shot up from 2100 all the way up to 2400 just by tweaking little things and also changing my playstyle to adapt to my partners. So one of the biggest things is instead of taking Ice Barrier in my talents, I've actually taken up Flame Glow. And what Flame Glow is, is it's a passive absorption. So anytime you get attacked, this thing absorbs all the way up to a little bit more than 1k damage. And if you think about it, in hindsight, 1k damage per attack doesn't seem like much, but also if you think about it on a more deeper level, you're getting hit constantly over and over by like melee cleaves, and also the debuffs on you are also ticking, which also get absorbed. So you're constantly absorbing all this damage, which adds up so much. Ice Barrier absorbs 23k every 25 seconds when you apply it to yourself, but this buff can also be purged, whereas Flame Glow is just a part of you. Also, you don't have to keep reapplying it and wasting globals uh, because Flame Glow is a passive. And so I've been really loving teaming up Flame Glow with Glyphus Spellsteel. And what Glyphus Spellsteel does is every time you successfully steal a buff, you heal for 4%. Which once again doesn't seem like much, but if you're fighting a team with like a Wrestle Druid or a Disc Priest, then popping Amplify Magic while spam spell stealing will not only heal you every second from the actual spell seal glyph but also you're constantly spell stealing all their buffs like hots and absorptions which will really save you from using your bigger defensive cooldowns like ice block or cold snap there's been plenty of times where i've been unkillable just by this tactic alone this here is more of a short-term survivability tactic whereas flame glow is more of a long-term survivability strategy which is why together they make such a good couple. Now moving on to the tactics on how I like to play fire play with my teammates and I'll be going over some of the basic setup rotations that we love to use. Now from mop to wad our playstyle has completely changed it's like playing a different game with the loss of deep freeze and also all the DR changes. So first things first, uh, what I like to do is go for a Dragon's Breath on the enemy healer into a full polymorph. Keep in mind, Blazing Speed will really help get the job done to get a range to the healer if you're not close enough. Obviously when you're going for the Dragon's Breath poly on the enemy healer, you also have enemy DPS that are locking you down and interrupting you, which makes it very challenging to land a CC with the loss of Palm Poly. So what we have to do is, my Shadow Priest has to double fear the DPS, or if he can't double fear, he'll either fear one and disarm, aka horrify the other, or fear one and silence the other if it's a caster. This will guarantee a 100% success rate on landing CC, which will then either force trinkets from the enemy team, or force just damage pressure. Out of the Dragon's Breath Poly, we like to chain it up with another polymorph, a silence, a bash, or a clone to keep that pressure constantly rolling to force other defensive cooldowns. At the same time, when we get that CC on the healer, we want to keep the enemy DPS main target locked down so I can drop a meteor on top of them with either the horrified or a stun like a bash or a hodge. Then set up Pyro Blast, Double Blast Wave, Combust setups to really get that damage out. Go, big down here, okay? Yes. Can you start? Somewhere, somewhere, yeah, somewhere. Right, right here, right here. Really big down then. Yeah, you can't bash me. Yeah, bash, 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 bash. Sounds off, sounds off. That's so much damage. Stop. 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 Stop.
stun. Sussing, sussing. Arkin. Doing so much damage, you can maybe die yeah, yeah, here. Maybe breath, maybe breath. Yeah, yeah, breath, 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 breath. Go, go! Woo! Oh, Get nice fucked, man. Dude. That was fucking Fireball. sick, dude. <laughs>